Welcome back to another tech video. This time I actually have a mic. I'm not sure what this tech is called, but it basically gives you a free sub. And timing has to be pretty precise. Also, I'm pretty sure this works better on 30 FPS, easier to hit. But I'll be doing it on 60 for better video quality. So firstly, the easiest character to practice this with is Pain. Because his universal pull is a big area and is easy to react to. Alright, the first one is just subbing and switching. This one for me was fairly easy. It's basically just subbing and switching. So yeah, you wait for the universal pull. Now I have a turn off unlimited subs. To show you that this is actually, you know, work works. Like that. And with enough practice, you can actually do this on a, like, normal hit. So, when they attack you. So, yeah, I can get it on the universal pull right now. But for, like, normal attacks, it's just, it's a little harder. I'll show you one last time. So, as I said, it's pretty simple. Just sub and switch at the same time. But you have to input this just as you get hit. You can input the buttons 10 frames earlier. And it will also work. But it has to be within the 10 frames. If it's like the 11th frame, it won't work. So pretty exact. For Payne's universal pull, you want to wait until the universal pull is all the way to its max. So like right now, the boundary. And then that's 10 frames. That's about 10 frames before you actually get hit. It looks very fast, but you have quite a lot of time, like, in terms of frames. So as soon as you see this circle become its largest, you want to input sub and switch at the same time, or fairly, fairly same time. This will work better if you do it earlier than you think, because the time between this large circle closing in and hitting you is very short, but the 10 frames is actually pretty long compared to this. So as you can see, it closed immediately as I went out of the menu. So you want to do it before you think it's going to happen. Something like that. I don't know, you just have to like, get used to the timing. The next one is a lot harder. It's when you sub and chocolate dash at the same time. And the timing is even more precise on this. You do have the 10 frames to sub. But when you chocolate dash, you have to be exactly on the frame or one frame before. At least that's why I found it to be. So I'll try and showcase it now. There you go. I can't do this consistently at all. Um, I do need way more practice to perfect this. But that's what it looks like. Once again, the timing for this is very precise. The jump needs to be either frame perfect on the hit or a few frames before that. It cannot be after uh, one frame after, you, it won't work. So like one or two frames before, it's okay. I'll try and slow the video down now to show you. pretty sure I have my little controller on the bottom right corner so look at that as well so what I'm doing is I'm pressing the sub and the chakra button at the same time like this right now when the circle expands to the largest I press my sub and chakra button at the same time as soon as like I see or just like muscle memory when the circle compresses a little bit so just before I get hit or when I get hit I press jump so it's not fast, but it's not slow either. So it has to be like perfectly timed. I'll try and do another one right now. But yeah, that is my way of doing it. You might have a different way, an easier way for yourself um, that you maybe found while practicing, but that is the way I do it. So it's definitely harder than the first one, but it's doable. The next one is very similar to the last one, but you want to be in the air when you do it. So hopefully I can show you. This one is even less consistent, but I'll try and showcase it right now. There we go. That was actually easier than I thought, but yeah, the timing is still very precise. This one looks very flashy and it gets you away from like situations. If you do land it, that is. If you get it to the point where you can do this consistently, it can get you out of situations. There we go. So yeah, it's like a huge dash away while giving you a free sub. I wasn't really recording for the next one, but I just did an air counter that I've never done before. I have like a replay thing. It won't look as good, but I did it. And I kind of got an idea of the timing. It's fairly the same as the 
air, you know, air sub charcoal dash thing. But this time you're gonna press a lot more buttons. So it's basically jump. So you, you need to be in the air. And then it's uh, I I hit chakra and uh, chakra and sub at the same time. So yeah. So normally it's this. If you look at the inputs. But then this time you gotta press jump and shuriken at the same time as well, as well as your guard button. So I just guard, jump, guard, jump, chakra, and sub, and then jump and shuriken. Um, I don't know if you understood that. I'll like put like an input on the screen because I can't really explain it. So I'll try and like do it right now. Like that, it looks something like that. So you just make sure you press all of those buttons at the same time. Or this one just slightly before. So subbing and uh, shock are slightly before. And that's how you do an air counter. I'll try and do another one right now, but it's probably gonna take me a load more tries. Oh my god, that took so many tries. But well, there you go. So yeah, all very hard stuff. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's a few more, but those are like core ones that you need to practice before you get any any more confusing or complicated. I'll showcase all of them once more. Uh, it's gonna take me a long time, but I'll showcase them one once more for the video. And that'll be the end. Right, there you go. That is all of the more advanced tech of Sun 4. And it will take a lot of practice to get even one or two. When I first learned the ways to do these techniques, I was like convinced that I couldn't do them until like I tried a few hundred times. First I tried in 30 FPS, which was a lot easier for me. And then moved on to 60, and I got used to in 60, and everything became easier. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I haven't uploaded in three weeks, mainly because I was on holiday. Now that I'm back, hopefully I can upload a lot more. But yeah, thank you for watching.